All right, all right, all right, Sagittarius. Why are you so mysterious, baby? What is going on? It is Mira, it is Shira, it is Vera, it is Scorpion Red Tarot. I am back at it again one time for the one time, yes indeed, to let you know what the energies are surrounding you for the month of August 2021. We're here to have some fun, baby. Shout out to all my OGs, shout out to all my newbies, shout out to all my babies. Every last one of you guys for like, sharing, and subscribing, and clicking this video. Y'all make sure that y'all hit that thumbs up button if this video resonates, or if you just want to send your girl some love, alright? If there's anyone that would like to book a personal and private reading only thing you got to do is hit the description box of this video or click the about tab on my youtube page it gives you various ways to reach out to me and to support the page um if you want to book send me a message on uh, instagram messenger if you don't have instagram messenger shoot me an email at scorpionreds at gmail.com okay so um yeah I'll get you all on the schedule and everything will do what it do, baby. So, listen, as you know, Sagittarius, we always give Father God his praises, his recognition, his love. We give him light and just glory because they don't know our story. They don't know how God be moving through our life, Sagittarius. So, if you wouldn't mind, bow your head with me. Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of Sagittarius. We thank you so much for the blessings, the gift, and the glory. We thank you so much for just keeping us going just forward, forward, forward. We thank you for the constant movement. We thank you for the love. We thank you for the um, the vision and the growth that's going through our life, Father God. We want to have this constant fertility we want to keep this constant state of abundance within ourselves, father god we thank you for all of the blessings for all, for all of the gifts for all of the light all of the joy for the positive frequency of just love flowing through our life please give us guidance for the sign of sagittarius in august 2021 we thank you for all of the guidance and the love that you've given us and we thank you for all of the blessings that we have yet to reach on our path in the name of Jesus. Please give us guidance in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, and amen. <clears throat> All right. So let's get into this. Sagittarius. Let's see what we got here. So I got some of my older decks that I don't really use that often. And I mix it up with uh, my new decks that I have here. So let's see the type of energy we got going on. Let's ring the bell first. Amen. Hello. Let's see what we got. All right, Sagittarius. Let me get this for Sagittarius. That's too much. All right, let's see. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Sagittarius, what is going on here? Now this is like the carnivorous flower. The carnivorous flower. This is this one's okay, so this one I want to say it screams like the type of warning because the carnivorous flower is like the Venus fly trap. It has like this sweet nectar, this, this smell, this a trap. You, you see like it's a trap. You see how the moth is coming to the flame like a moth to the flame burned by the fire. It's like a sweet vixen. It's a sign of seduction, but it, at the same time, it's a trap. Like it's, it's, uh, let me read this card because I can only imagine what this is about to say. If, if it means what I think it means. It says attraction, magnetism, infatuation. For every man there exists a bait which he cannot resist swallowing. It says here, this card portrays a seductive and alluring female fatal. At some point, we have all met her in some guise or gender, possibly not even a human form, but as a situation, a place, or invitation to act. We are attracted irresistibly like moths to a flame. We may even... Um, uh, be oh my goodness we may even be cognizant of how ill-advised it would be to fall in her charms 
I am, ironically, that suspicion of danger may even add to her allure like some type of complimentary adornment. And casting caution to the wind, we are driven and motivated. But attraction alone can be shallow and temporary infatuation with little substance. Such an emotion not only lacks duration, but along the bravery, the, uh, bravery it also is fraught with danger and repercussions. But despite it all, we cannot entirely reject her. We look once more and yes, she is still there, still alluring and still beckoning. Oh goodness. Y'all forgive me for my little uh, <laughs> my third way reading child. I'm trying to tell you it's something that is like it's something that's not good here Sagittarius. It's something that's baiting you in. It seems alluring. It seems tempting. It seems sweet. But it's not. It's like determined to eat you alive. It's something that is not good. It's ill-fated. Like if you continue to gamble and play with this danger in some type of way. It seems like something good. It seems like something is good is coming out of it. But it's only temporary. It You may get what you're wishing for but it's so slim it's so slim it's so temporary that it seems like you might not even have it at all and at the end at the same time you're so close and indebted to something that you <laughs> may wish you would have never played with that's just like being attracted to a man or a woman that you know is a cheater or is an abuser or they have a pattern or history of treating people in a very bad way and leaving them like scarred forever like the people that walk away from this person are not the same ever again but this may be the best looking person may have the best sex or whatever it is that kind of charms you or reels you into them. It's like so hard for you to resist same way like the other people. Like they were called in but they had to claw their way out. It's, it's like you're not going to be any different than the rest. Like you got to look at someone's history. You got to look at the pattern. And then you got the fucking magician y'all. Oh my god child and then you got the empress in the reverse give me one more card please lord jesus that's not good i'm trying to tell you what is this and then you got the six of okay i don't like that i don't like i don't because this card right here with the magician and the empress baby this is giving me, like it said, the femme fatale. This is someone that is using some type of metaphysical powers, gifts, some type of charm, hocus pocus, um, love spell, wordplay, eye gaze, something that this person knows that they're talented and gifted at. They can use their sex appeal, anything. That they know that they have some type of power over other people. You know, like the the Empress in the reverse is somebody that, again, I want to say doesn't recognize their own beauty or their own gifts. Or again, like, could, could use it in a very... ill way it's like you can know that you're beautiful but you use it with this magician energy and with this energy right here you use it to call and allure people in to do your bidding or to where you take people's freedom and their free will away it's like you you use your powers and your gifts to bait people in to either devour them for your own selfish way it's either like an energy thing it's like a uh it's something it's some something and it, and 
God, I don't like this. I don't fucking like this, bruh. I don't fucking like this. And then, look, this is someone's, like, will to leave. Like, this is someone's free will, their mental choice to leave. It's being revoked it's with this, the empress in the reverse. This is someone that wants what they want. Do you understand? By any means necessary, if, if you will not give me what I want or if you try to remove yourself from my control I like I will show you my power like you don't have any free will of your own like I can do something to change your thoughts and you'll you you may think that you want to leave but halfway in your travels you'll still turn around and come back to me do you understand because it's like someone had some type of it's <sighs> And again, the Six of Swords is when someone received help. They received assistance. Like, people helped them to see that this isn't good. You shouldn't deal with this person. This person is not good for you. It is... It's a trap. Go away. And you did. And you started moving. And because of this person being the, the individual that she is, she... Call your ass right the fuck on back. Yo, what the fuck is going on, yo? Woo, what the fuck is going on here, honey? Woo, y'all got me scared to keep going. What's going on, honey? Mm-mm-mm. It's like, stops you right with you. It's like, make you think. And second guess your own thoughts and your own reasoning for why you stopped talking to someone, for why you left someone, for why you disengaged, for why you moved on. It's like trying to get you to toil and labor. Tell me what else is going on with this carnivorous being. Jesus. Toil and labor and journey. It's like this person is like trying to... Uh, use some type of god i don't want to say this but it's like spells and witchcraft or some shit because this is not a good person like did this is this is not a good person do you understand what i'm saying it's like this this is someone that things should grow around you things should thrive around you with this empress thing this is someone that Cleanliness is the next thing in godliness. If this is a type of person that is untidy, that is temperamental, that um, may have a whole bunch of fatherless kids. I don't know why I want to say that. Like fatherless kids or, or, or just like, I want to say scattered energy that again is her appearance may seem regal and powerful but lacks the security, lacks the confidence. It's like lacking of some sort where the grass doesn't grow. Things only get sucked in. It gets devoured. It, get, it dies. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like she lives, but it dies. It, 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 she feeds. You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, that is trifling. I don't like this. I don't like this. And I just really feel like someone is it's like someone is trying to leave but it's like yeah the journey card and the what is this turmoil what is it toil and labor with the magician it's like wishing you stress wishing you anguish wishing you uh, moments where you feel like you've you've come to a point of defeat and you're not going to make it and it's just throwing blockages and like I said mental blockages that make you think that you gotta come back that you can't make it it's like this person knows that this whoever this is is trying to leave and knows it's their destination it's meant to be far away from this energy right but with this magician energy and this toil and labor that they're wishing on this person along their journey it, it makes this person feel like I, I need to quit I'm not going to make it because it's like if a whole bunch of crazy just tray bizarre 
crazy shit just keeps happening to you while you're trying to leave and you're on your journey in this destination to start a new beginning and it keeps blocking you it keeps distracting you or it keeps causing a blockage in your destination it's this motherfucker over here wishing you toil and labor god like i really do not even like reading like drama ass shit like this but i gotta fucking read what the hell is on this oh in the name of jesus sagittarius what the fuck be going on with y'all what is going on or whoever whatever is going on around y'all in the name of jesus we call for cleansing didn't we talk about this last time i think what did we talk oh, i can't even remember <laughs> Yeah, and look, I broke it in the three of swords and the bitch. I, 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 ha, <laughs> oh, okay, come on. Give me two cards for Sagittarius. Please tell me what's going on in this general energy. Thank you very much. What is this? The seven of cups. And then you got the two of wands. Okay. Mm, 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 mm. The Seven of Cups is the. This is debauch. And look at this person. All up in the water, just being. Okay, look at that Seven of Cups. Good gracious. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna keep all the all the this person ain't even paying attention to the other options and nothing like this. This person got singular focus. This person is getting sucked up in this. Ooh, ooh, ooh! This ain't in every orifice. Ooh, 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 ooh! What is y'all doing? Y'all so nasty, motherfuckers. Okay, again. Okay, so I feel like this. Whoever this is. Because you got to look at the cards as well. And then you got to see the two of wands in the reverse. The two of wands is what? It's when somebody is feeling like something is better left alone. And to pick things up and move ahead. And it's, it's like I need to make a decision. Do I want to stay here and continue fighting for something that is not satisfying to me? Because the two of wands is when you start to get the inclination that... My skills that I'm developing, everything that I'm learning, I could apply the skill set somewhere else and be more successful. I'm not trying to burn no bridges, but I need to understand when it's time to cross one. You Do you feel what I'm saying? There's options over here on this side. But at the same time, I feel there is that carnivorous flower again that is trying to distract someone from their options and opportunities because the two of wands is when someone cannot make a decision and is struggling and trying to decide should I focus on the options that I have in front of me and move forward or should I stay here should I stay put and try to make what I have work and if you can see is this person paying attention to the cups? Or, or, or is this person getting swallowed up in emotions and getting wrapped up into looks like sexual affairs right here, right? Right? Trying to debunk that whole notion. Oh, you think you're going somewhere? Well, let me let, let me give you this wet, wet. Let me give you this splash mountain. Let me sh look. You see the moon up there? That's when that feminine energy comes in and, and control and swallows you up in emotions. And again, y'all got to remember, sexual things, that moment is a temporary feeling of satisfaction. Like once you come down off of that climax, then what you going to do? This, the Seven of Cups is about you thinking about what you want for longevity. It's not just about what looks good for right now. It's about what is going to fit your lifestyle and what's going to help you progress forever. The Empress in the reverse? Nah, bruh. No. It's something about this energy I don't like. 
And you got to understand the carnivorous flower could be anything. Anything that you feel like could be controlling your want and your belief system in yourself. Your desire to move forward. That is causing some type of unnecessary blockages in your path. And you know where this energy is coming from. It could just be your 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 willingness and your ability to want to move on and do something better for your life could be making someone else mad when they are wishing you ill wishes and and trouble along your path just to see that you don't make it there you see what i'm saying so that you don't make it there even with the help and assistance it's like a succubus it's like this is not good energy. This is someone that just won't. It's like they won't leave you alone. Do you understand? It's like trying to make you feel unsure of yourself. With the magician right here. Come on man. I don't like this. I don't like it at all. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. And again just look at this. Seems sweet, seems inviting. Really. Ah, listen. You can't make this shit up, man. Toil and labor on the journey. The six of the sword. And that's clearly someone trying to leave. Trying to allure someone. It's like, especially if this person, if you go in their house, like that house is a mess. You got the two of clubs. Yep. The two of clubs. And then the queen of clubs. So. The two of clubs is. Options. It's like a. It's an option. It is. I want to say like negotiation. It's like exchanging of creativity. Of ideas. Um. I want to say it's like communication. It's like negotiations back and forth. It's like some type of working together of some sorts. Um, I want and again, I want to say like some type of invitation. I don't know why I feel like it's an invitation to a group. It's like kind of being let in almost. And you got the Queen of Clubs. The Queen of Clubs is a very beautiful individual, energetic. Uh, outstanding personality, go getter, all of this stuff like that. She could be a leader of some sort. So, again, this can be like an invitation by the Queen of Clubs into a group, into a new um, social standing of some sort. Let me, uh, and, and, oh God, okay, let me just tell you what the, the, the two of clubs mean. It says a social business invitation. Um, Business or social correspondence of any kind of benefits being given or exchanged, a gift, a birthday or anniversary present being given or not limited to material things. This gift could be someone's time or energy being given freely. It may be some helpful advice, a special favor or even a bit of good news, a clock or time. Okay, and then in regards to what this card says, it means friction, oppositions, roadblocks, disappointment, indecisiveness, stagnations, block communication, the fear of making the wrong move. Take the first step, define a direction, take initiative, face your fears, cooperation, stepping up. Finding common ground, seize the day, soul connections. So, all of which is kind of saying the same thing here. Because I'm trying to tell y'all, this is someone that is trying to use metaphysical energy to cause roadblocks. And again, here's the two of wands too. So, right? This is the two of wands in the reverse. And this is the two of clubs. And then this is the toil of labor with the magician. This is all saying the same thing, but in different ways. It's like you're being let in by a different social group, right? 
Because remember, the two of wands is when you want to change one thing for another. You got a brand new idea. You have a, a brand new... It's, it's, it, your ideas have changed. I don't feel like I'm best here. I feel like I want to try something else. I don't I don't want to stay here anymore. I'm thinking about what's on the other side. I'm thinking about what's on the other side. And again, the toil and labor is on the journey. You turn it back. Thinking like you're not going to make it. What does it say? It's opposition, roadblocks. Disappointment, indecisiveness, block communication. You know, when everything was good, everything was okay. Then the next thing you know, you going through all this toil and labor just to get to where you were going when you knew you had everything stamped. And it just seems like I'm trying to tell y'all if y'all feel like it's been a whole bunch of drama, drama. Blockages, look, someone trying to distract you with emotional bullshit instead of focusing on your options and really like studying each one of them to figure out which one really is best for you. They're trying to distract you with bullshit. This queen of goddamn clubs, the queen of clubs, attractive woman, dark hair, sociable, independent, self-assured, strong, confident, outgoing, flirtatious, sensual, feminine, a passionate lover, very sexual, creative and playful, indulges in gossip, entertains drama, temperamental, attracts others easily, secretive. Child. Rest assured, child. Rest assured. Let's get into love, Sagittarius. Let's see what the hell is going on. And again, I just read the cards. Y'all don't take none of this personal. If this is not, this does not resonate with you. Only thing I can this is coming up for a reason for somebody. Somebody needs to hear this message. I don't know if this is a male energy that's dealing with this is a male Sagittarius dealing with a female energy or you know, or however this resonates in your life. This can be someone's fucking parent. This could be a, 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 a co-worker. This could be a friend. You know what I'm saying? This could be anything. Anything. This could be a drug addiction that you feel like is making you look bad with this. You know what I'm saying? This empress in the reverse. It could be anything. That's distracting you from your from your opportunities and your responsibilities because the Empress is the Queen Mother. So this is anything that you're trying to get away from that you feel like is distracting you from your opportunities. So if this does not resonate, the smartest thing for a person to do is listen to this and learn from energies like this so it never happens to you. Do you understand? Because a lot of times people hear stuff like this come out on the table and they be like, well, who, who this? And this must be your energy. No, this, trust me, this is not my energy. Do you understand what I'm saying? But this is a message for someone to receive. And if it's not you, it could literally be you watching it because in a few days later, Someone that you know may needed to see this message and you watched it and you're the one that passes this video on to them, you know? So again, I, I need people to um, practice responsibility and watch in tarot because I don't know why I had to stop and tell this, to, you know, but it needs to be said. You're not the only person watching these videos, you know, and if the message is not for you, it's for somebody else. So, if it's not for you, you can click off of the video. You don't have to go down in the comments. Getting all emotional like someone's personally attacking you. Like, you paid me for a personal reading. <laughs> and this is free. Okay? So, again, learn from stuff like this. Because it may not be a person. This may be a family member. This may be a job. This may be this may be 
something that you're doing in your day to day life that you feel like is sucking you. You know? So, again, personal responsibility and only take what resonates. There we go. Let's see what's going on in love with Sagittarius. You got the love and you got luminosity. All right. So, I like this Sagittarius. So, you guys are growing. You guys have love surrounding you. Um, I feel like this is some star energy right now. You guys definitely feel powerful. You guys feel attractive. You guys feel deserving. You guys feel ambitious. I really do like this energy surrounding you guys and love right now. It's very, very powerful. Let's see what else we got going on. I heard that you guys are being patient and you're learning to control your gifts. You got the lovers in the reverse. The lovers in the reverse. I feel like with it falling on this card right here, I have to. Boom. I have to. You guys have to learn. Um how to release things and let go because the lovers in the reverse is basically saying it's not a true connection it's not meant to be there's certain things where people are merely brought into your life to learn a lesson from it's about how much you shine how beautiful you are how powerful you are um if this is the energy of the sagittarius indeed um and again, you shine, you're very powerful, you're very gifted, you're very beautiful. Please use your energy in a positive way. I promise you, so much more will come back. You know, and, and, if this is, if, if this is a situation of someone left, you want them to come back. I don't know why I want to say star-crossed lovers. It's like it happened, but it wasn't meant to be. You know what I'm saying? It's like you really want to try to use your powers and, and everything to bring it back to you. But it's lessening your true fruitful gifts. Learn how to release and let go. This is not meant to be. Give me one more card on top of the lovers, please. Once you learn how to release, you will shine more. That's like truly what I want to say. Like, let go of this need of power. You got the Six of Pentacles. So the Six of Pentacles is receiving gifts, receiving assistance, receiving help, generosity. You don't have to beg. You don't have to, you know what I'm saying? It's like God is going to give you assistance with releasing this heartbreak getting i really feel like getting out of this energy like truly because it's something it's something someone turned into this creature here out of a fit of lack because you can only go from the six of pentacles after you're coming out of the five of pentacles the five of pentacles is lack not understanding something, being shut out, being rejected, struggling, needing help but no one would listen, you know, feeling like no one paid attention to you, being sick, you know, not like even homelessness, like all of that. This, this is someone finally receiving assistance, receiving help. As you can see, you see bad conditions so I feel like you don't have to worry anymore release and let that go and the more and more that you can show yourself and show God that you are trying 
to let this go and change this energy. I don't know who the fuck this is in this energy, but I got to tell you, you're using your power in all the wrong ways for all the wrong reasons. And there's the responsibility of the magician is there's repercussions for everything you do. There's karma. What goes up comes down. Like, do you understand what I'm saying? So the magician could be to teach some it, with the toilet labor and all. Li, listen, there's karma, you know, and when you change your mind and your heart and you accept love a little bit more, you know what I'm saying? And try to change this energy because the Empress in the Perverse could be someone needing a makeover. You know what I'm saying? Not liking their image. Not liking the fact that they feel barren. They feel like things around them are not being nurtured to the point where it can become ripe and fruitful. Like there's nothing growing around them. Something needed to change. And it looks like some assistance needed to be had. Because for some reason, there was a loss in connection. I want to say like there was a resistance of love. But it seems like there's some assistance being gathered around you. And there's help coming. But you got to learn to... Let certain shit go. If it did, if it did not work, it didn't work for a reason. It was a lesson. And remember, pinnacles can easily be time. It could be structure. It could be learning. You see how these three of pinnacles is over top of this person right there. There's a lesson. Learning, learning, information, education. What is this? You got the nine of swords in the reverse. And then, what is this? You got the seven of wands in the reverse. So, this is someone. I feel like since some assistance is being had, it's like someone is not worrying about being accused of some shit. It's like someone, because the seven of wands is like some type of slander, gossip, someone being accused a victimized of something and it's like I don't have to worry about being the focus of that attention I don't have to worry about somebody yelling at, it's like people yelling at you accusing you of some shit it's like putting the blame it's like a whole bunch of people it's like putting all the responsibility on you for a whole bunch of shit and it's like you just it's just like a whole bunch of drama it's like being relieved of the stress it's like I just it's something about I don't have to deal with something anymore it's just like picking up and letting go and removing their sword from the fight. You know what I'm saying? Removing their wand from the fight or hiding their wand or just removing their self in general. So it's like people can't, I don't know what they're saying, pick on me anymore. It's like someone's like, someone can't say anything about me anymore. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, I'm not the problem anymore. I'm not, I, I don't have to be. A constant focus of attention and people saying shit about I don't have to go to bed worrying about well what the fuck are they saying now? What are they saying I did now? Do you understand? It's something about I wanna say something about someone removing itself from some drama. Removing yourself. It's like removing yourself. And again, it's it's like a situation where it was like 
it wasn't for you anyway it wasn't meant for you anyway so stop being the constant you know what I'm saying? Like, you're not going to find a resolve in this situation. Let somebody leave. You know what I'm saying? Don't wish nobody no ill will. Don't be trying to lure them back. Don't, don't do none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, let people go and you won't be accused of anything. You don't have to worry about nobody saying that you're trying to do nothing. Like, and... You'll start to shine more and true love will come to you. Like, that's honestly, like, what I'm getting. Because I feel like someone is doing too much. And that whole debauch. Like, debauchery. Like, someone is trying to cause some type of friction. And, uh, just let this shit go. Child, then you got deception. Lord have mercy. Give me guidance. This is free yourself and wedding. Oh my goodness. In the name of Jesus. Child, you got deception. So it's like, and then you know the the you know the six of pentacles can also represent someone giving the two. It can represent someone giving the two. So the same thing that they're giving to you, they're giving it to someone else. Beggars can't be choosers. You can't press a nigga out when it come on time if you know that they got other responsibilities other than you. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, and the lovers in the reverse and the de deception, come on, you know? Beggars can't be choosers. Again, remember, I'm saying it's something about some type of state of life. And the Six of Pentacles can be someone gifting them up time, of assistance, of help. It's like someone could be calling and saying, oh, I need some money. I need some help. I need, and you really don't need this shit. It's like you just wanted to see this person because you're in love with this person. But this person is not attracted to you. They don't want to be with you. Like this is not, do you feel what I'm saying? It's like, stop getting in the way. Of this person. It's like someone's making something hard. And then you got the wedding. And then you got the free yourself. So this could have been some type of connection. Someone has to let this shit go. And again, it's like if you don't want to worry about what people are saying about you people accusing you of not letting go not you know what i'm saying like you don't have to be in the middle of other people's drama especially if it's somebody that is because i i kind of feel like this is someone on the outs here because this could be someone is already in another relationship or something and it's like you running around in circles. I don't know why I'm feeling like watching this shit right here. Nightmares, stress and worry, hard time getting over this shit. And it's like, I don't know if this is like you feeling like you got caught off guard with this shit. And, uh, deal it like the, the Seven of Wands. It's like a personal challenge where it's like learning when the fuck to walk away and then when to sit there and keep worrying about he said, she said, and, and dumb shit. You see what I'm saying? It's like, who cares? Stop. Let this shit go. Learn when to walk away. Free yourself from their relationship or whatever the fuck. Because it's like this. This shit is no. This is no point on spot. No, this is no. This is no. This is absolutely no. But anyway, I'm going to get the fuck on up out of here. I want you guys to realize whoever this is, like, love, you will shine brightly here. And true love will be able to find you and see you. You got to let shit go. You got to let shit go. And it's like some level of, like, vengeance, vengeance or... Just feeling like you want to control shit and take people's free will so that they can't. You can't do that to people. 
Everything you do will come back to you. Listen, that is why this is here. This affinity sign. With great power comes great responsibility. Watch what you do to others because it always get boomerang to you. If you carrying on this energy, just you wait. You gonna fall on your own sword. Y'all stop this shit, yeah. All right, I gotta go. Peace.